Hey guys, this is Firebird of Pi again, and uh, I'm back with part one of my Pokemon Neo Destiny booster pack opening. I'm going to be opening 20 packs, and uh, let's get started. So uh, we have a Togetic pack, and then this is Noctowl, Tyranitar, and Celebi, or the other pack designs, which I'm sure you know by now. Um, so you know, let's, let's get opening. Um... Never opened any of the Neo sets before. Uh, the oldest packs that I've opened are base set, um, which is the oldest. But apart from that, I haven't opened anything before uh, the EX sets. So I don't know the card trick for these at all. So let's just go with the flow. So we have a Remoraid, an Unknown T. A Sunkern, a Gligar, a Pineco, a Venonat, an Execute, an Unknown G, which is a rare, a Hitmonlee, that's nice artwork there, Dark Pupitar, which is cool, and a Dark Haunter. Uh, so this is probably going to be like maybe a three part or a two part opening uh... depends i can upload videos longer than ten minutes but uh... it's it's harder for me to do it because i have to do it on my computer rather than my phone so here we have a growlithe which is in my opinion one of my favorite artworks from this set uh... a mantine an unknown l another remoraid unknown t sunkern Gligar, and our rare is a Miracle Energy Hollow, so that's really cool, actually. Uh, I've seen this card for sale, actually, in a store, but I don't know how much it costs. But, um, I'll finish this pack and then sleeve it. An Unknown Q, a Lucky Stadium, which is, that's a, that's, a, uh, that's a cool card. That I can recognize as, uh, Iwakuni or something, or Iwakuni. Kumi, whatever his name is, the guy that's on the Doduo card from the, um, uh, from the VS series, not, not. I'm blanking right now on what set that is, um, <laughs> when I remember I'll be sure to let you know, and a light Jolteon, which is cool, and my sleeves have run away. I really like this card. Pack. We have a Mareep, a Fampy, a Hitmonchan. I don't like this card. It's a common and I don't like the artwork. Yeah. A Psyduck, Giraffarig, Vulpix, Dratonoi, sorry, <laughs> uh, Unknown X, Light Venomoth, Energy Stadium. And a dark crocodile. It's also good about that hollow is that it proves that these packs aren't weighed. Which, you know, it's always nice to know that you didn't buy packs that you're going to get crap from only. So here we have a Munchop, which is another artwork that I really like. A Slugma, which is also cool. A Lediba, which is weird artwork, but I sort of like it. A Light Sun Floor. Larvitar. Cyndaquil, a male from Bill, luckily it's not the rare, a light Piloswine, which is really not much better than a male from Bill, a dark Fortress, which is cool, a light Slowbro, and a dark Wigglytuff. So I think I know what the card trick is now, um, so I'll start doing that for you guys, and if I have it completely wrong, then sue me. An unknown S. Hitmonchan, Psyduck, Dark Octillery, an Unknown V, Fanpy, Giraffarig, Unknown Z, I guess that is, a Light Ninetales, that's a really nice card, a Dark Almanite, and a Light Lantern Rare. So, this set is, obviously, it's a great set, um, one of the most hard to find 
after like EX Team Aqua and Team Magma and Fire Red Leaf Green and EX Dragon and that stuff. Uh, Slugma, Machop, Ghastly, Swinub, Mareep, Porygon. That's a nice artwork. Uh, Unknown S, Dark Fortress, Dark Executor, Dark Wigglytuff, and another Unknown X. No, that's not good. Um, but that's actually, I like that, that Pokemon power name, XXXXX. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So, getting to the end of the Togetic packs. We have a Light Sun Floor, Larvitar, Cyndaquil, Mail from Bill, Growlithe, Mantine, Unknown L, Counter Attack Claws, it's a neat card, a Scyther, which is also pretty cool, a Light Flareon, and a Dark Slowking. Last Togetic Pack, only one Hollow so far, which is not good, but we'll see what happens in the rest of these packs. Hoping for a Shining, at least. Um, Execute, Seal, Venonat, Totodile, it's, ooh, that was eventful, <laughs> um, another all-time great artwork, it's accepted as that, uh, Sunkern, Gligar, Unknown T, a Light Golduck, Pokemon Personality Test, it's another interesting card, a Light Dugong, and, oh, sweet, a Shining Mewtwo, that is an epic pull right there. It's one of the coolest shining cards. And now we know that these packs have not been weighed, which we already knew, but I I don't know. I just got all jittery because I haven't had any good pulls in a while. Oh, man, that's great. Oh, I love the shining cards. They're done so well. I can go back there, which... My Shining Tyranitar and Shining Celebi are where they those are. Um, so, Knocked Owl Packs. Um, so, yeah, speaking of good pulls, um, if you, any of my new subscribers, you should go check out my, uh, my Christmas vids. I got some great luck there, you know. I Also, my... Nine, nine EX series packs. I pulled an EX and five hollows, which is way above average. So uh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, Unknown L, Mantine, Pineco, Unknown T, Gligar, Sunkern, Totodile, a Light Nine Tails again. Love that card. A Heracross. Whoa, that that is pretty beast artwork as well, man. That's it's just a cool Pokemon too. And Oh, a dark croconaut and a dark mag cargo. And I'm going to end that part here, guys, uh, so I can collect myself and uh, uh, clean my pants off after I peed in them when I pulled the Mewtwo. Um, so uh, come back for the next part, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.